Hey, it's Matt O'Leary and this is it. This is the, what, second annual, third annual, fourth annual. We're going to play a game today where Nina has my top songs of the year list. So my top songs of 2023, I think there's like 130, 40 songs on this thing, something like that. It's 10 hours and 30 minutes of music. Okay, yes. So she's going to take that playlist. She's got headphones. She is going to play it on shuffle and just shuffle through songs. She's going to describe the song and I'm going to try to guess which one it is without seeing it, without any audio hint or anything like that. Starting with a Kindo-esque piano, I would say. Ooh, okay. Um, is it Gospel Oak nope. by Harada? Nope. I mean, it, this is one of your favorite, favorite guys. Favorite guys. Oof. I love my favorite guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some favorite guys. Um, ooh, some piano. And it's not Benny Sings. No, it's not that vibe at all. Oh, okay. Very it's different. dark kindo, piano. Yeah. Who are your favorite guys? Just to start <laughs> listing them. <laughs> um, but I'm okay, thinking the drums it's kind of jazzy. And they're fake. They're fake. If you can't. Time think. is running out by Stephen Wilson. There you go. There we go. Let's go. Favorite guys. Okay, this, I mean, this man is withered down to his core. Wow. He has been. He's been through it. He's been through it. He's seen some things. Yeah. He is singing like he has been shot three times in the stomach. Oh. And this is all that he's got left oh, to give. He's just, just barely getting it out. He's, what style? Uh, echoey. Echoey. There's some background vocals. Yep. Minimal music. I mean, instrumentation. Minimal instrumentation. Now He's we've really slammed squeaking. into it with some. We've slammed into it real hard. Mm -hmm. Like the and beat not dropped. in a super pleasant way, in a noisy way. The Redshift Blues. You should know this by the description of the singer alone. Dispirited spirits. <laughs> How many fatally wounded men are you <laughs> listening to? Probably a lot. I mean, that's a big part of art, you know. He's shot. He he's sings about shot. that for a while, and now it's he's noisy, done. and he's clanging around doing the dishes at 10 p.m. After I already got the baby to sleep. Wow, I have no idea. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to just tell me on this one. Sufjan Stevens. Oh, okay. Genuflecting ghost. No, goodbye, Evergreen. Ah. Knowing what we know about he act, what he actually has been through this year, I feel bad describing his voice that way. But it's true. But it's true, right. and it was that way no before context. all the rest of this stuff happened. Yeah, and I should have just known, like, banging pots and pans, this guy, he can't stop with he that. Stop. He loves He's, to do yeah. a 10 p.m. dish. All right, our right. our favorite darling little sweetie boys. Yeah. Singing high little... Doo -doo -doo -doo. In my head, in no, my but... head. I don't think this song really matters. I mean, it's Brian and he's singing yeah, so flippin' high. Yeah, any time of day yeah. by the lemon twigs. You almost just want to tell him to like, hey, just lower it. Yeah, that key, man. <laughs> he really picked a key with that one. And then he goes up I at know. the, I mean, come I on. Know. They say that people pass away to make a space for all the okay. okay. This is Benny Sings-esque, really bouncy pop flute. No. Bouncy pop flute. Upbeat. <laughs> it's kind of moving. Um, it's not Benny Sings, it's but it's Benny like Sings, that. But it's like a Benny Sings instrumental, potentially. Uh, There's no lyrics. Each instrument's just kind of taking a turn, doing a little turn about the room. <laughs> um, the flute's really fluting flute, out now. Flute's going for it. Gosh, this is. I need to come back strong. This is a tough start. Is it like really technical? No, it, there's nothing happening with the time signature where I'm like, oh, oh, we're we're switching. It's just oh, okay. the same. Is it uh, John Carroll Kirby? Yes. Mates. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. That's a tricky little tricky little thing. <laughs> Do, 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 do. All right, 
Right off the bat, I'm surprised to see this artist in your top songs of the year. Paramore. Yes. Liar. Yeah. Yes. I didn't even listen to this album. Oh, that chorus is amazing on really? that song. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you tell me? Did I not put it in your Nina playlist? No. Oof. We go. This is getting good. It's getting good. Okay. It's very, very epic beginning. The chords are extreme. The chords at the beginning of the song, are, it's like it's the climax of the song already. Hotel de Dallas by uh, Motorcycle. No. Yeah, it's like, it's literally like these are the chords that you wait for the whole song. And it's just giving us that right away. Austerity by <laughs> Catatonia. No. And then I looked at the song length and I was like, yeah, well, it's eight minutes long. So where can we go from here? The verse is kind of like if Mew was a little like grungier than it is. Mind Out of Mind by Kimono. No, but it's funny how many songs that this is relevant for. <laughs> okay, now everything stopped and it's like 80s like um, synth and he's doing oh, an emotional moment. Probably Moon Safari. <laughs> Wait, uh, I think they're foreign. Is it... Um, you okay, yeah. by this... Zop? No. <laughs> They're definitely not native English speakers. Uh, okay, big epic chords, kind of female voice. No, not female voice. Not female voice. <laughs> Victim of Desire, RPWL. All right, that's a great song. Oh, that guitar tone on that one. Germans, I was right. Germans, yes, indeed. All right. Next up, let's go. That let's do good, it. I gave you everything you needed on that one. All right, this is like Charlie Brown's backup, the band in the back of Charlie Brown, like something bad, ha like they're, something bad happened to them. Something bad. Something bad happened to but them. But they're just expressing but themselves. This is just how they express themselves. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's primarily the drums that I'm... Okay. Uh, so kind of jazzy. Yeah, kind of that Christmassy like... Yeah, cocktail jazz. It's just kind oh, of... Oh, okay. Do you know what A little saying? like, yeah, ride cymbal going on. So... Somebody's soloing on a classical guitar now. Oh. The rest of the boys have fallen back to support. Okay. I think I know the song, but I don't remember the artist or the song name. Well, that's... Okay. That's a me problem? <laughs> me problem. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need a cruel, phone a friend. Cruel But Fair by Dominic Miller. That's exactly what I thought it was. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all the wistful beauty of Charlie Brown and his past, and they've grown up and become jaded. and Yeah. What do you got for me? You need both ears. She's learning well. She's got to listen in stereo. To really get the full effect. What? This is like the most you. <laughs> we need a you need to cut to a clip of last year's video where I describe your five genres of music that you like. You're just getting older, and so yeah. your tastes are just like specific. Like yeah. I could just list it. It's like Japanese girl. Japanese girl is one. Norwegian strong. man with Prague. <laughs> Garage guy clanging on stuff. Maybe it's just that you know nope. it so well. Now. Garage guy garage clanging guy on stuff. Clanging. Mm, like whiny guy. Whiny, whiny guy. guy. Whiny guy with guitar. Like post hardcore. Whiny so. guy with guitar. Mm -hmm. And then whiny guy with reverb over some electronic. And then jazz. And that's it. Because it's just the same. It's really dreamy. Uh, Tame Impala esque background sounds okay um singers got a ton of reverb on his voice and it just seems is it like vinyl williams yes yes it's like you're floating through mm. a little money love is a sound i scrolled down so and i'm true. seeing the lyrics and i'm like that's not what i'm hearing because it's so just like <sighs> <sighs> reminds me of like punk 
fast punk drums. Okay. But, but like a yeah. garage band. Is it White Reaper? No. Faster no. and like there's squealing, it's chugging. Reep, yep. reep. It's garagey, it's, it's kind of rough around right the away, edges. Right away, it's just like Oh, it's ferocious. Yeah. It's not very clean, it's not very precise. Oh. Oh, is it, um, I know it, I think. <laughs> is it uh, Mutoid Man? Yes. I forgot what the song's called, but that's Frozen a good description. Hearts. Frozen Hearts. It's like a marimba sound from Garage Band and a fake drum. It kind of sounds like like the start of like a science video. Science video. You know, when your teacher wheels in the, the TV in <laughs> science class and you're like, yes. And then the first like the intro of it. While the text comes up, you're like, okay, like 90s. Yeah, yeah. So they put the VHS in. Yeah, and you're like, which one is it going to be? Because there's only ever like two options. It's like, yeah, because you've seen them. Like and the text comes up and it's like yellow. And it says like the mysteries of the deep sea. That's the first 40 seconds. That's good. Okay, so kind of cerulean. Kind of. Now we, are, we have a guitar over it. It's called First in First. Oh, yeah, yeah. Charlie Hall. Oh, that album's so good. Listen to the beginning. Mysteries of the Deep. Uh -huh. National Geographic. You would hate it. You hate the ocean. That's so true. <laughs> I What is that thing where you're afraid of what you... If you can't see the bottom, why, how would you not be terrified of that? You know there are creatures it's down there, and you don't know if they're like 10 feet away or like millions, you it's know? It's none of your business. <laughs> and that's fine. So then you're just fine? You just I feel them... like that unknown is just They're anxiety. not bothering you. The deep sea creatures are staying down there. But are they? Yes. You think I they're... think they'd be they'd be nipping once in a while. You think the guy with the light <laughs> not out him. in front of him would be like, oh, I gotta not go see him. what's going on. No, he's a bottom dweller. That's what I'm saying. That's a completely different continent of the ocean. Right. All right. This is the Strokes guy. The Strokes guy, just like him. No, just it's sounds the like Julian. Guy. Guitarist, no? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's Old Man by Albert Hammond Jr. Mm -hmm. Catchy little number. His music is never like incredible, but it's like solid. It's always just seven out of 10 every time. Just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> it's waiting just acoustic guitar. Happen. Okay. It's just one acoustic guitar. Just doing. Just chilling. It's a Frenchman. It's a French guy? I think. Uh, Poupra? No. Do you know no. the artist? That's not the artist. How many Frenchmen do you have on here? <laughs> I think I have a few. Oh, is it the song Last Call? It is. You know it's a gray song. album cover. I just can't think of his name. What's his name? Philippe Brock? Yes. Philippe Brock. Are you listening to French music? There's a, a, a couple this year. I don't know what it is. France coming through. Really solid song there. Apparently takes too long to develop, but... Annoyed already. All right. I'm annoyed already because one of their stupid guitars is just going. You know my feelings on starting and ending songs with guitar noise. Yeah, you're not a feedback person at all. Just start the song and then right. end it. Yeah. Really it's a happy it little up. song. We got electric and acoustic playing the same thing. Right. Bouncy little bass, normal chord progression. Normal uh, chord old progression. guy sounding. <laughs> That's a good. That's you know what one. normal means in the context of what you normally listen to. Okay, sound the guy's voice sounds like he's an old guy. Almost like Simon and Garfunkel-esque harmonies. Oh. Nice, nice sunshiny little tune. Wow. 
probably the, one of the catchiest little hooks, pre-chorus okay. that hooks you've heard, that so, I've heard far? so far. Got it. Um, it sounds like the two guys are just doing this right next to each other and singing in exact, you know, right. in perfect harmony. Is it kind of like 60s pop-esque or is it more like... Um, I don't know if I know what 60s pop is, but... It's, is it I'm, like Beatles-ish? Yeah. Teenage fan club. Foreign land. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. That's a foreign land. I did my best you understand. This album cover is so melodramatic. Melodramatic just, album cover. Like, I can't... This is like oh, wow. what maybe you and I would like draw up as a joke. It is. For okay. like something like really serious and emo. Someone's crying. Someone's breaking down. <laughs> it reminds me of like Christian harder rock from like 2010. Okay. The lyrics are very like dramatic. And it's like, I know y'all aren't at war. And also like the, the yeah. typography on the album cover makes it seem like this is a part of like an epic story. And I just, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Getting in trouble with the boss? No. no. Remember that the album cover is like extremely dramatic and dark. Is it Pearl by New Monarch? Yes, New Monarch. New Monarch. Oh, that song is so good. Pearls, yeah, that is an it. old school song. Yeah, yeah, I said yeah. I don't dislike it. It's so good. That that chorus is amazing. Okay, somebody's yelling. There's somebody's background yelling. yelling, and now we're bouncing. Hey, is it that kind of atmosphere? Oh, it's picture more like kinda. hey. There yeah. is multiple voices singing. There is, or? There is. <laughs> there, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Pleasant. Not Benny Sings, but has elements of Benny Sings. Right. That amount of bounce and vibe. It's a feature. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Strangers by Nickel Creek. Is it a d different Nickel Creek song? <laughs> I'm literally, the female is featuring on the track. She is not part of the band. Okay, okay, got I'm it. I'm not that Key distinct. Dense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely don't know. You're gonna have to tell Sleepless, me. Sleepless, featuring J. Som. Oh, okay. Little Bombay, Bombay Bicycle Club. Yeah. I swear it's real good. I guess I can't keep with it. I sleep. Okay, we're having an emotional piano moment to start the track. Some strings are joining. Okay. Emotional piano. Kind of sounds like a video game, like, theme. Okay. Is it on synthesizer or? Yes. Synth, synth and strings and piano. Now we've got some metal drums. Okay. Metal it's, drums. It's was... like a Trans-Siberian orchestra right now. Ooh. Sounds pretty good. So, oh, for Pete's sake. Did you switch it? The song's 20 minutes long. This one is? It's Moon Safari. Mm hmm Yes. But I was right about the theme. The theme has already returned in different instrumentation. And I'm only two minutes in. This is Teen Angel Meets the Apocalypse. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You don't like it. All right. <laughs> uh, like the melody that she's singing goes with the chords, but not in a way that's like that nice to listen to. Huh. Let me think of one of my favorite songs of the year that's not that I nice to listen to. I just can't imagine to. like writing this and being like, yeah. I want to peek so bad. Who is it? Subsonic Eye Everything. Oh, okay. Does something, That's a pretty good track. Does Last track something the amazing happen in the next two minutes? Is it one of those where it like is boring for like five minutes and then it's six minutes like the best thing ever happens? Or? I don't think so. Right. I would say one of the most iconic album covers of the year. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Wilson with... No, no, but it's 
right there. Right in that lane. Uh, you know, the drums are doing a prog thing. The guitar's doing something else. Okay. Really pleasant male voice. Eyes of Ebony yes. by Haken. Yes. Uh, Parting words here. Hello to the prog men of the progosphere. Is that my audience? May the Lord bless and keep you. Generations to come. May he, may he make his face shine upon you. That's good. And give you peace in 2024. In this Just bleak midwinter. Only to the prog men. Everyone right. else. Everyone else. Suck it. Yeah. Let's happy New Year. Happy and New Year. Uh, thanks yeah, everybody for watching, watching this. Yes. As always, do you know what my closing line is? Bye.